finish the second quarter, and then y'all really were effective in the third quarter going inside of Tron. We kind of opened it up there for like up to 16 points. Well, we talked about that. Great teams close quarters, close halves. Great teams start the third quarter, and we've been we, we haven't been great at that this year. And uh, we 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 executed, I thought, very well tonight, which is something we've struggled with during the year. Uh, we ran some stuff in the half court and got some easy baskets. Uh, our guys were more focused than we've been, I think, in the last few weeks. I thought we were unbelievable defensively to hold that team to 38 points. Yeah. I know they're young, but they got some guys that can really shoot the ball, they can score the ball, they spread you out, they can, they can put it on the floor, they're good passers. So I thought we were unbelievable defensively, and then we gave them 8 to 10 points late in the game, just you know, being careless, you know, being a little bit passive, I think. And a lot of that was on me. I'm just trying to play out, so I'm trying to win by one point and, and move on to the next round. So a lot of the, the way we handled it late was, was on me. So. I asked Nico, I, was like, I think you guys were frustrating Dad a little bit there, trying to close it out for a while. Uh, when you were able to kind of settle it down and, and close it, what was the conversation like or, or what finally cleaned some of that up? My expectations for this group are so high sometimes. You know, I think, I think they get caught up in, you know, coaches being too hard on me. But I just, I got I have very high expectations. Uh, we, we've had a tough year. And uh, I think when you lose so many close games like we did against really good competition, psychologically it can mess with you a little bit. And I'm just trying to, trying to, wanted to close the game out to have it going into the next round with a, on a positive note. So that's that's what my mind was. But they're going to understand one day why, why I'm so hard on them. And, it, sometimes I, mean, I get former players all the time that call me five years, 10 years, 15 years later. I get it now, coach. I understand now. And I was the same way as a player. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that, that, that it was more that. Then I'm always coaching for the next next game, the next season, the next phase of their life, you know, all of that stuff. So. When you talk about, you mentioned psychologically, a lot of teams could be beaten down and just like, I mean, we had so many close losses. But they seem to react in a positive tonight to, to come a second season. Let's, let's, let's do, turn it around. I absolutely love this team. I don't know how this season's going to end. I love this group because they never quit on me. They never stop fighting. You know, some guys, you, you get punched in the gut the way we've been this year. We've had some, some losses I've never experienced in 20 years of coaching. And they just keep getting up off the mat, keep getting off the canvas. And... That, it's a credit to their character, it's a credit to their parents and how they were raised, and it's just a, it's a great group of young men. Thank how you, you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, do you how do you approach, I mean, y'all go play Liberty again now, just messaging a, a team that uh, familiar I, I can't, with? I cannot wait to go play Liberty again. Uh, you know, Liberty Liberty's a very good team. They've had a great year. They thrive on pressure and turnovers and, and all of that stuff. We had them here during the year. Uh, it, was, it was a back and forth game, could have gone either way. They closed it out better than we did. Uh, we've got to make some adjust adjustments. We got to be better than we were tonight. Uh, again, they're going to be they're going to be chomping at the bit to play us, uh, you know. But but we got a lot to play for, and uh, you know we we're not satisfied at all with with winning one playoff game. The expectations of our program are extremely high right now.